Hey everybody, Tim here with today's episode of Star Trek The Next Generation, Season 1, Episode 25, the season finale, The Neutral Zone. Um, so this is an okay episode. I felt like it had the potential to do a lot better, but there was like some writer strikes going on and it just kind of fell apart. Um, which is unfortunate because it's it's the season finale and this is also the first time in the next generation that we've seen the Romulans. <clears throat> and so they, they could have done so much more, but basically the on our side of the neutral zone, some star bases have gone missing. And then we find out on the Romulan side, some star bases have gone missing. And we agree to work with the Romulans to figure out what's going on. And then that's it. That's about the, the basic, but for the subplot, that's it. Like, we never get an answer. We never actually meet with the Romulans. We just talk to them via communicator. And then the basic plot of this episode is we find a shuttle that has people frozen in it from the past. Um, so it's almost like Space Seed, except for these aren't like eugenics survivors. These are just random people that were cryogenically frozen, like Austin Powers, and were shot off into space. Um, now it's kind of interesting to see how these three individuals act. Um, and supposedly one of them uh, was supposed to be Harry Mudd at one point before the script rewrites, which could have been interesting, but Roger Carmel was kind of sick and dying at this point. Um, uh, kind of a random trivia fact that I didn't pick up on, but I, I read about it later. Uh, when one of the people is looking up her descendants, um, supposedly, I tried, like I paused it, but I just, I have really bad eyesight and I couldn't see the screen, but supposedly the names that pop up are Doctor Who actors, Gilligan's Island actors, uh, the Next Generation actors, and MASH characters. Um, so again, I don't know if that's true. You guys who have better eyesight or better quality, uh, video than I do will have to let me know about that. Um, but it was kind of interesting, if, if it is true. Um, this is also the very first time in all of Star Trek where we get a specific year on where it takes place. Because all through the original series, they purposely left it vague. And they would mention things like, oh, this could have been 200 years ago or 300 years ago. But they never got into specifics. And in fact, this kind of messes up some of those timelines. Um, but now we know at least this episode in The Next Generation takes place in the year 2364. Um, so it's kind of interesting. And then we know roughly the original series was about 100 years prior to this. Kind of when we met with... Um, Admiral McCoy in the first episode Encounter at Farpoint and they give his age so you can kind of start doing math on when Star Trek takes place now so that's kind of interesting. Um, they also mention how TV uh, went away in 2040 so I mean that's not too far away um, but that was kind of interesting that they kind of just throw that out there. Um, yeah overall like I'm going through my notes. Yeah, I like I want to like this episode. I really do because I think the Romulans are interesting and they get more interesting as the series progresses. But for this first episode, they were like, "Shit, what do we do?" And they just plugged them in, and it was it was a little disappointing for me. Um, for a season finale, it was disappointing. Um, like I said, I wish they would had used conspiracy, especially with the ending of that. But whatever. Um, for you guys that have seen this episode, uh, what do you guys think about the Romulans? How do you feel about the Romulans being in the next generation? Um, and just how do you guys feel about the first season in general? Like, we've already done 25 episodes. That's great. Um, so let me know what you guys think about the first season of the next generation. In my opinion, it's the weakest season. Um, it has some highlights, but it's the weakest season. So go ahead, let me know in the comments below. Uh, thank you guys for everything, and I will see you guys next time for season two, episode one, The Child.